What up, guys? We are at the vegan fest. Oh, it's not plugged in. <sighs> Come on, Dino. I'm dying. We're at the vegan festival right now here in Montreal. Yeah, me and Daniel are kind of crying. We just had really, really spicy stuff. Give me the, give me the thing we just tried. So this company gave us their Reaper spice. So it's really hitting in. I thought it'd be a really great time to start the vlog like right here, right now, while we're kind of eye sweating. My nose is running. It's actually this company right there that kind of just murked us. <coughs> I know I haven't vlogged in a long time, so for any newcomers that doesn't know this channel, we're all about fitness, we're all about health. I'm a Canadian boxer, also a student athletic therapist. Woo! So right now, we're just gonna kind of bring you through. Oh wow, I can't even talk right now. Woo! It's bad, huh? Woo! Like I said, if you're new to the channel, this is all about health, fitness, well-being. Yeah, trying worse. to teach you guys the vegan life, how I implemented it into my school and boxing. Uh, follow my journey, enjoy my journey. We got a whole bunch of recipes, a whole bunch of workout for you guys. I try to break down as much as the debate about if veganism is good for you or not. Uh, recipes, I keep repeating the same words because I really, really can't focus. <laughs> but for today, since we haven't vlogged in a long time, I thought it'd be really cool to bring you guys along on the vegan festivals that's happening in Montreal. So after this kind of sets down, there's a dose booth right down there that I'm gonna be kind of working at. And then there's the Pure Breath, Pure Booth prep right there that I'm gonna be working out as well. So guys, I'm here with Chloe. It's, she's one of the representative of those juices. Exactly. This is who's been helping me do my weight cut so I can get down from 230 to 200 pounds. Mm -hmm. We got four more pounds to go. I just wanted you guys to know a little bit about those juices, what they do, what's the point of it, why it's so good for you, and... Allô. <rire> Dose Juice, c'est une compagnie de jus biologique pressé à froid. Donc, euh, biologique parce qu'on veut pas qu'il y ait de pesticides qui soient absorbés comme vous en pouvez. Euh, c'est pressé à froid, donc on, re... on va vraiment mettre de la pression sur les fruits et légumes pour que le jus soit extrait. Puis, ça fait que tous les nutriments restent intacts. Donc, euh, c'est vraiment une grosse dose de vitamines ou de minéraux. Puis, est-ce que tu as pris des smoothies? Ouais, je prends des smoothies. On fait aussi des smoothies qui réutilisent la pulpe de nos jus. Donc, euh, au lieu de jeter la pulpe, de pancréatiage, on la remet dans nos smoothies. Il y a 10 grammes de protéines de riz brun, donc c'est sans soya, c'est végétal aussi. Puis, euh, je pense que c'est ça. Exactly. So, because I've been training so much, I really have a lack of appetite and having these juices to make sure that I'm getting in the nutrients I need, which is those micronutrients, those vitamins, those minerals, getting my protein in, getting all those vegetables in that I wouldn't normally eat because my stomach's really not up for it because of the training. We got the juices, they're really helping me out. They're really helping me out. The fight's next week, a couple more pounds to go, and we're gonna enjoy the rest of the vegan festival with those juice. Right now, we're gonna go surprise my friend, my friend Jeff. <laughs> right over here. Sorry, I had to scare him. We're gonna have my boy Jeff just kind of talk about what Anonymous Vegans is all about. We do the cube of fruit, we do at least once a week, uh, so we're super regular. The cube is really magical. Uh, it's magical because it's incredibly effective. It's like, it works so well. Every time we do a queue, we get about 100, 200 people who promise us to seriously consider veganism. And these, these are like real commitments. Like these are people who are like, actually looking into your eyes and they're like, they're changed by the conversation. We do this performance and people come in and they see slaughterhouse footage and they're like touched by it. And once we see that they're like, kind of thinking and they're sitting there, a second group of people who are not in the queue, they're called uh, outreachers. Okay. They're gonna go up to the person who's watching okay. uh, and they're gonna ask questions. So we use a Socratic method to debate. Okay. So as opposed to telling them like, hey, don't you think this is wrong? Yeah. Like, sorry, that's actually a question. Uh, I'm so used to asking. So I just tell them this is wrong. Yeah. Like, we should stop this. We should not be this. We go like, what do you think it is? How, how do you feel comfortable with this? Um, do you think it's, it's necessary to eat animals? Uh, and when they 
say, no, I guess it's not necessary. And we ask, you know, if it's not necessary, how do you justify killing animals that don't want to die? We've been doing this forever. We've been doing this for a long time. Then you ask them, you know, it's because we've done something forever, does that make it right? Does that mean we should continue doing the, doing that thing? Uh, and we just keep asking questions until we get to a point where they're asking you questions like, well, this is all terrible, how do I change this, right? And we, we have these competitions, they're, they're extremely heartfelt competitions, and um, they're really important moments in people's lives. Uh, and it's really, really, really effective. And that's why we're the fastest growing vegan uh, activist movement in the world. Uh, Anonymous for the Voices started two years ago in Australia and there's now over 800 chapters in the world. We think we're probably going to have a thousand chapters by the end of this year. Okay. Uh, and, and yeah, the, the reason why it's so effective, uh, the reason why it's so popular is because it's incredibly effective. It really, really works. It makes a huge difference in people's lives. Soy jerky. Snack. Smoke. Wow. There was a spicy, but because I'm white, I don't eat spicy. I have a surprise for you guys. It's her. She's a surprise. Yeah. We're about to run out of butter. We found a kilo of sunflower butter. How long do you think it's going to take you to eat all that? After my fight, I think I might finish it in like two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. A whole kilo? Yeah, 100%. Bro, that's like what? Like 5,000 calories? It's like more than 5,000 calories. That's it. That's all I wanted to show you. I got a kilo of sunflower butter. We just finished. We're on our way to Pure Prep right now. And we're coming up right now to the awesome girl that owns Pure Prep. Julie, doing her thing. Look who came to visit. Chrissy Squad, got Tristan. What up? You guys go follow them on Instagram. They're Beats Couple right there. Give, the give me some deets. Well, Pure Prep is the best company in the history of the world. Uh, fully vegan, here's some general Tao tofu. Uh, they sell midday squares, which is my new obsession. Okay. And uh, they deliver every week on Tuesdays, and you can use my discount code. <laughs> <laughs> Or his, or mine, or mine, or, mine. Uh, or, mine, <laughs> or, or hers, or just mine, or just hers, or mine. Wait, it's Chrissy Ten. It's that shit, Ten. Follow me, Chrissy Squad. <laughs> Her Instagram is gonna be on the link below. Julie, really? tell me a little bit about peer prep. She's also really, really tall, guys. A good four foot. It doesn't show from four here. Four foot ten. Really <laughs> this is how we work. We can't even see your head. <laughs> <laughs> peer prep is for busy people who don't have time to cook and they still need to have some good, healthy, plant-based options. So we don't sacrifice on taste or on anything. It's all gluten-free, plant-based, refined sugar-free, no hydrogenated oils, and delivered to your house or your office every Tuesday. Okay, I can't, I can't talk anymore. I can't. <laughs> She's been working all day, guys. She's been hustling like a beast, so it's okay. Go check her out, Pure Prep. We're also here with MTL Vegan Life. She's gonna talk about her company. Hi guys, we make raw vegan desserts. It's all plant-based, vegan, dairy-free, egg-free, no refined sugar, no gluten, and made with love. You guys gotta come check it out. Whenever you get the vegan festival or in Montreal, come hit her up, all right? She's also on Instagram. Go follow. Yeah, MTL Vegan Life. Exactly, follow it. I'll put it in the link below. So Tristan is gonna to talk to us about, where are we going? Chocolate. Chocolate. You guys know that we gotta get chocolate right now. We all about that chocolate. Daniel, chocolate, chocolate. Oh, uh, heaven. I gotta, I gotta get everything now. I gotta get everything now. Tristan knows stuff. Well, she explained it all to me. So like what I was saying to him is when, um, when a lot of chocolate and coffee companies produce their beans, when they roast them, it doesn't get all the mold and fungus off of it. So that mold and fungus produce a lot of mycotoxins, which actually changes the taste of it, but it also creates carcinogens. And when you drink coffee and you feel super jittery yeah. afterwards, exactly. uh, it's actually that mycotoxin. So when you drink real good quality coffee that's clean and doesn't have that mold or fungus, it actually gives you like a cleaner, like more calm buzz. Kick a little bit. Yeah, yeah, a bit of a kick, but it doesn't give you that like shaky anxiety feeling. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, we're going to find out what they're about and we're going to buy some stuff. It's always about that vegan life, those new companies that are releasing really cool things. Yeah. Coffee and chocolate are very similar. Right. Coffee is generally a fermented food. Yeah. So most uh, coffee is made with what's called natural process. It's about a four month process where you harvest the berry and then you basically let the fruit rot off. So it sits in these wooden boxes during that process, there's a lot of opportunity. Well, there's bugs, there's, there's animals that can walk over it. In the boxes themselves, imagine putting a bunch of fruit in a 
big wood box. So when they're done with uh, their form up, then how do you sanitize it? They often will use like chemicals to make sure there's no stuff growing. So what we do is we don't um, use a natural process, it's water washed. Okay. Which takes a four month process and speeds it up into a 48 hour process. Okay. What you have to make sure is because through that fermentation you're actually kind of adding flavor. Yeah, if sure. you're not gonna do that, then you can't just pick swaggy. Yeah. You have to pick fully ripen uh, the, the fruit. So you have to make sure the beans are quality. Yeah. Um, 48 hours, clean beans, they're dry, then we ship them over and then they get roasted. Instead of drum roasting, we use an air roaster. It's a, like an air suction system. Um, as the, they roast, the actual skin of the coffee bean will burn off and it sucks. Okay. So you're not burning it onto the bean itself. Okay. And we all know like there's carcinogens in vermouth. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tastes good, yeah. but it's like what is the purpose? Can I try some? Yeah, so yeah. I only, I have some espresso. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, try some. It tastes a lot different. What do you think? It's like really different, huh? I like that. It's yeah. not like, it's a different kind of bitter. Yeah. Like it's not bitter where you're like, you. It's yeah, it's a lot softer. Like, it is a lot softer. All right guys, I'm gonna bring Daniel to one of the companies that I really love that's actually here right now. And they give me my, well give me, I buy vitamin B12 and my chlorophyll from. It's called Land Art. If you guys are looking for vegan supplements, I highly suggest you guys check them out. This is your vitamin B12 that is, you don't get. Is this gonna make me go super saiyan? It's gonna make you go super saiyan. <laughs> what did you get, Daniel? <laughs> I'm only and five of five. <laughs> what? I got the good shit, the room the toy and the five of five. All right, guys, we got about an hour left of the vegan fest, so we're gonna finish off a pure prep. We're gonna go meet a few other people that are going to be there and uh, then we'll kind of end it for today's video and maybe eat some real food hell yeah i didn't eat really all day kind of just snacked hell yeah, just had some those juice just cookies <laughs> chocolate <laughs> on my weight cut i'm fighting next friday i still got pounds to lose cookies and, and cake let's go check the ice cream <laughs> i need ice cream we're gonna end now because it's gonna be really bad we're gonna cream. go back to pure prep and, oh my god <laughs> trust me trust me <laughs> <laughs> oh god, nope, I'm okay. Because I gotta stay up pure prep, I just heard that there's sushi, vegan sushi at this vegan festival. Daniel we have to go get it. is gonna take over guys and he's gonna bring you to sushi and he's gonna do a really great job imitating me. Daniel's a beast. <laughs> Daniel, <laughs> I give you the vlog. All right, guys, we're in search of these sushis. Let's look. All right, guys, I literally walked around for the last five minutes, and there's no sushi anywhere. I think Zach's just sent me on a wild goose chase. This is kind of ridiculous. Daniel, Daniel screwed up and didn't find sushi, so we're gonna go get sushi. <laughs> well, I got so nervous to talk. He didn't look, myself. and he doesn't want to talk to you guys on camera. This is really, really sad. Two thousand years later. It's right there, guys. We found it. I can't wait. Hello. They told me about you guys. Hello. I got. I gotta try it. You wanna purchase some sushi? All right, guys. We found the vegan restaurant or the vegan place. Sushi. So we got sushi. sushi. The one that you have is the one I actually can eat because there's cashew cheese inside. Ooh, okay. So those. I love. But cashew I'm gonna eat the rest. Cheese. Oh my god. <laughs> Another okay, great company. No, it's Boys Club. You can't join. If you guys want to check them out? I'm gonna put that link down below. Also, last one before we leave, guys. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream with the gang. Ice cream. Ice cream. You scream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. I gotta see if I'm allergic though. If we're not allergic, we're getting some. And then tomorrow we can't really eat it. <laughs> I'm getting some no matter what. We uh we might die. This might end the vlog. No, he might die. 
we are living. Just him. No, 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 just me. Just him. Okay. None of us are living. We'll find out what happens. We got. Give me your epipen. We, we got <laughs> apple, caramel, and chocolate. I'm, I'm ready to stab you. I've always we, said I want to be the one to stab we, you. We no, because we're as a team. We decided. Wouldn't it be cool no. if it was like get him to the Greek when you get stabbed with the adrenaline needle and you're like, I'm alive. <laughs> Are we gonna die? Are we gonna die? It's really good. Okay, okay he didn't die yet. So. That's one. <laughs> Chocolate were good. The life of a vegan athlete. Photos. It's a little dark thing on. Hey guys, I love it. Come here, hug. <laughs> <laughs> Ouais, exactement. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are done for today. Successful day at the vegan festival. I hope that today was kind of like a day to show you guys that there are a lot of companies out there that are really trying to do better for the world and make vegan uh, items. So things that we normally were like born and born into and grow up with, with like the meat and the chocolate and the this and the that, that there's other alternatives. You could actually turn left right here. There's actually alternative, <laughs> alternative ways, alternative vegan ways, alternative I alternative items, Al alternative Al items. Alternative. But again, it was really fun. I hope that some of the companies that I did film so you guys could actually get a chance to meet them and see them, that they kind of just showcased what that festival was about. There was a lot of people there. I made a lot of great connections. Met a lot of you guys that actually saw me and started following on Instagram again. I got a couple of new subscribers, so like, thank you for that. So whoever followed me today, whoever I talked to, it was really awesome time meeting you and talking to you guys. And I might always be there at every year in Montreal when there is the vegan festival. If there ever is another one in another city that I will be there, I'm definitely gonna go post it on Instagram. So if you didn't get a chance or you're not following me already, go in the comment section, description box below. There's That's It Zach, you guys can follow me on Instagram as well as everyone else that was on today's video. Uh, all the places that we interviewed, their link's gonna be there as well. Maybe there might be a discount for some of them, so get ready to check that out down below. If you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe now, hit the notification bell so you guys do get notified when a video, whoo, when a video does come out. I'm gonna be vlogging again, especially these next couple of weeks because I have my fight coming up next week. We're gonna talk about the weight cut. We're gonna talk about how dose juice, how I implemented it into my weight cut and what I did so you guys could kind of get an idea. If you're trying to lose weight, trying to cut some weight, you guys could kind of follow my method, give it a try. There's nothing to lose. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. It's your boy. You know what it is. Punch, headbutt, elbow, uh, knee. We out. Till next time, guys. Peace.